uh, CATCA in partnership with the National Guard Bureau and the Cooperation for National and Community Service, we call it CNCS, launched our Vet Corps project, and we are very excited about it, with the purpose to help returning veterans and their families access the critical services and support that they need, ranging from social, mental, physical, health services, housing, employment, all of the needs that the family and the veterans will need in their communities. Through our Vet Corps project, AmeriCorps and, Amer and AmeriCorps VISTA members, and you see some standing before you today, we plan to place one in up to 100 community coalitions this year, uh, all designed to work in coordination with the National Guard uh, prevention, treatment, and outreach coordinators at the state level to ensure that our returning veterans have the services that they really need. All week they have been uh, going through training, a very special training we put together for them with the help of our friends at the Corporation for National and Community Service and the National Guard. It is uh, a treat for us to uh, be implementing this project and we could not have done it without the help of our friends at the White House at CNCS. So today, we want to welcome our first cohort, and I would ask you to applaud them before I bring up Mr. Velasco to give some remarks, please. I'd like to ask uh, Robert Velasco to come up now. He uh, was uh, designated by uh, the president to be the acting CEO back in May of 2011 for this uh, part of the White House that is engaging more than 5 million Americans in results-driven service through the Senior Corps, the AmeriCorps, the Learn and Serve Corps, uh, the President's Special Initiative on United We Serve, uh, all of the volunteer efforts that are going on in this administration. Uh, Robert is clearly an experienced leader who has had volunteer experience at the local level himself, working in such areas as literacy skills for young people, working with first-time uh, juvenile offenders, and finds himself now in a national federal leadership position. So I'd like to welcome the CEO of the Cooperation for National and Community Service to participate in this historical first beginning of our Vet Corps project, Robert Velasco. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, General Dean, for that very kind introduction, for your distinguished service in the U.S. Army and for your leadership on this very important effort at CADCA. It's truly an honor to be with all of you here today to celebrate Vet Corps, to see this program come to life. What began as an idea formed into a partnership and is now poised to make a real impact in the lives of our veterans and military families. Over the past 10 years, more than two million of our military men and women have served in war zones. Their honor and selflessness and that of their families make America proud. But all of us can do more to support them during their deployment, homecoming, and transition back to day-to-day -day life. So I salute CADCA and the National Guard for developing this Vet Corps program to serve those who've served us. Supporting our troops, veterans, and military families is a top priority of this administration. And at the Corporation for National and Community Service, we're strategically focused on this critical work. Through grants, special initiatives, partnerships, days of national service, and other efforts, we're increasing our support for programs that touch the lives of veterans and military families. And we have two important goals. First, we want to increase the assistance we provide to veterans and military families through national service. Okay. 
we want to connect them to the full range of services and opportunities available to them. Second, we want to tap the extraordinary skills, experience, and leadership ability of veterans in AmeriCorps and our other national service programs, engaging them in a new mission on the home front. This unique Vet Corps program does both. So I'm pleased that we've had this opportunity to collaborate with the National Guard and CADCA. But this partnership comes to life at the local level. So I'd like to thank the CADCA coalitions that have stepped up to host our new Vet Corps members. I hope that more coalitions will do the same and take advantage of the people power that national service members provide. Because while this isn't the first veteran service corps that we've ever supported at the Corporation for National and Community Service, it is the largest. This year, Vet Corps will support up to 100 full-time AmeriCorps and AmeriCorps VISTA members in 28 states and will expand to other states in the future. And efforts like these are needed now more than ever before. The transition from active duty to civilian life is never easy, but long and multiple deployments and a tough job market make this one of the most difficult times in our nation's history to be a veteran. The President made it clear just two weeks ago in his State of the Union address that we must enlist our veterans in the work of rebuilding our nation, that an America built to last must be as strong and united as those who defend her. So the Corporation for National and Community Service is proud to support VetCorps, and we're looking forward to the good work this program will do to support and engage our nation's heroes. Now, it's my honor to introduce the next speaker, someone who personifies the idea of service by and for veterans. Kayla Harris served in the U.S. Navy and is now a member of the inaugural cohort of CADCA Vet Corps members. Please help me welcome Kayla to the stage. Thank you, Mr. Velasco, for that introduction. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm a veteran of the United States Navy and an AmeriCorps member in the inaugural cohort of Vet Corps. Military service members sacrifice their time, talents, and sometimes lives, but many lack the support they need. I have several family members and friends who struggle with mental health issues and physical ailments which bring them home from war from their time of service, and some have been deployed on multiple tours to Iraq and Afghanistan. The physical and emotional trauma they encountered while deployed did not disappear after returning home. This trouble is coupled by stressors such as the inability to find employment and lack of access to necessary medical and mental health services. Unfortunately, this lack of support contributes to issues such as substance abuse, depression, and family problems. This is an injustice to the men, women, and families who selflessly gave themselves in service to this country. That is why I am proud to be part of an initiative like VetCorps which offers the military community and its supporters a chance to help our comrades and families. I am excited to be a part of Vet Corps and hope that you will support us to make this National Service Corps a success. Thank you. It's wonderful to have Kayla and also Rhonda Farmer working with us at CADCA, so thank you both. And now I'd like to introduce a CADCA member, and the first coalition leader to sign up for Vet Corps, Tom Coplitz. For the past 20 years, Tom Coplitz has served as Executive Director of Community Partnership with Youth and Families, and is leader of one of America's oldest and most effective coalitions, Partners for a Drug-Free Chisago County in North Branch, Minnesota. Let's hear a coalition's perspective now. Tom? Thank you very much. This week I have been honored to participate in CADCA's first ever VetCorps training. 
I've heard some incredible stories and experiences from veterans like these military service members who have shared the challenges facing service members and their families. For many, these challenges are significant. Substance abuse, depression and suicide, unemployment, homelessness, and so much more. As I heard in our training this week, no one returns home from service the same. Veterans, military service members, and families live in virtually every community in America. Every coalition is blessed with these community members. It's time your community coalition to reach out and help them. By helping them, we know what their skills and experiences will do to help coalitions. CADCA has presented us with an incredible opportunity to make veterans, military service members, and their families a key partner within our local coalitions. CADCA is committed to placing Vet Corps members in 100 coalitions by the end of the year. As the first drug-free coalition to take advantage of this opportunity, I am urging you to do the same. Get on board with the Vet Corps project. Let's not let veterans, military service members, and their families address their personal situations alone. Let's support the lives of so many who risk their lives for us. Let's support and engage families who have sacrificed so much for us. Coalition leaders, let's partner with CADCA to make the Vet Corps project the shining star in the prevention world. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Now, I have the great privilege to administer the AmeriCorps Pledge to our very first cohort of CADCA Vet Corps members. Thank you for signing up to do some of the most important work that America has ahead, addressing the needs of a new wave of veterans returning from war. You won't just be connecting veterans and military families to key services and support from housing and employment to behavioral and physical health services. You will be helping to fulfill our nation's solemn obligation to prepare and protect those we send into harm's way, and to give them every bit of care they and their families need when they return. You will be serving your nation in a very special and important way. So please stand and repeat after me, and I'd ask those of you in the audience to please join us as well. If you'll share with us in the oath, you'll please stand as well uh, and repeat after me. For those of you in the audience, we'll repeat everything except the last uh, two lines. I will get things done for America. To make our people safer, smarter, and healthier. I will bring Americans together to strengthen our communities. Faced with apathy, I will take action. Faced with conflict, I will seek common ground. Faced with adversity, I will persevere. I will carry this commitment with me this year and beyond. I am an AmeriCorps member, and I will get things done. Thank you, and congratulations. Let's hear it for all of our Vet Corps participants. I'd also like to recognize Jane Callahan, the director of the National uh, Community Coalition Institute and Tanya Hills, our project manager for their work on this project back at CADCA as well.